Okay. Update on Operation Wolf and possibly even some questions. She's dirty. But, uh... We, um... Recap the monitor. All the caps, except for the, uh, there's a real big one, um... I can't remember what it's called, but they didn't send it with the kit. And what happened was, um... My son soldered in all the, uh, caps, and, um, I was putting, I put a new screen here in the chassis while he was working on the caps, uh, and when he got done with the caps, I was putting the, uh, circuit board back in, and was caught on something and I was trying to push on it well my thumb happened to be on the vertical hold pot and I broke it so I had to order some 200k pots and uh, we soldered a new pot in well he did while I was at work and uh, I got this weird three images on there well I came home and turned the pot up, the screen started rolling really fast and it evened out, got rid of those three ghost images. So now I have this and um, I'm just having a real hard time with the colors. Uh, if I put a jumper on the ground and then on top of one of the, I believe transistors, on the neck board, where you should turn on the red gun or the green gun or the blue gun only. The screen kind of splits diagonally like this. So, I'm going to turn on a, the red gun. So, we'll uh, get in here. Right here, the top of that transistor. I'm going to ground that out. It's a red cutoff, red drive, then a transistor, so I believe this is the red circuit on the neck board. And that's what I get. It's a uh, split kind of diagonal across there. I don't know if I need to kind of maybe hit this with a, a degauss wand. Is that possible? What the problem is? Now, now I'm going to turn on the green gun. Let's see. We're back to the main screen. Turn on the green gun, and we get green and uh, the blue. I'll turn on the blue gun, and we'll get blue and red. So, I'm not quite sure what's going on in there. Okay, so now I'm going to unhook the, the blue gun. That's the green, and that's the red gun. I don't know how well it shows up. The red's kind of red, 
maybe a bit orange in this corner. Uh, the green is like a teal and, a, and the blue is like a purple and the whites are white. You can see a little indentation on this side. Everything, I don't know. So any of your any of your thoughts would be appreciated. I'm getting a little bit of a ghosting of the three different colors right here on this side, but looks really good over here, in here, in here. Everything's pretty white. Uh, I'm going to. Turn that dip switch off for the regular game. Got all green down here. Got like a blue line coming through here. But the screen stays still now. So any, any, uh, let me try to cover this flash. Yeah, that's not going to work. Putting a red hue in there for my finger. But, uh, I don't know. I see it's set on Japan. We did put new dip switches in it, too. Apparently, it's not set correctly. Uh, wish I could turn that flash off. The color seems okay. When, when I turn the guns on and it was right across here, the colors are pretty good across here. It's this section that's not. So, hey, let me know what you think. What's going on here? So we can get her fixed up. The uh, screen is definitely a lot sharper. Uh, than what it was. It's a lot easier to, to, uh, it looks a lot better when you're standing at what, where you're playing at. Like, everything's sharper. It's just need to get the color blended together right. I still do have the old screen and yoke, so, not sure if that's what's it. We did find one, uh, One cap that had, looked like it had a little burn hole in it. And, you know, when we were replacing, so. Sorry for rambling on, but. Thanks for watching.